Hello again, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, um, Emily, for um, gathering these wonderful questions. We're super excited. And thanks, you guys, for, you know, of course, giving me the opportunity to share my work um, and then also to get this feedback from, um, you know, everyone who watched. Can you talk more about the various facets of your practice? How do you feel your work has shifted through the exploration of various mediums and techniques? Um, I think a lot of the facets of my work are really grounded in research um, and a kind of investigation. I'm really interested in like historical documents and things like that. Um, and I guess in terms of the way that I explored different mediums and techniques, um, I really allow the project and the idea and the question that I'm asking to guide what materials, what mediums um, I choose to use. And so that means that I'm quite open. I can be very open um, and not feel kind of stuck with working with one specific type of material. And that's really what brought me into working with glass is that I had a question and a need to kind of represent a certain thing and the material of glass made the most sense. For example, my most recent work, um, and it's really kind of ongoing research, as well as kind of at the moment taking the form of new kind of glass sculptures, um, is a project where I'm thinking about the history of um, glass, in modern architecture, and particularly fixating on the kind of symbolic registers of glass at the turn of the 20th century as being this kind of material representation of freedom and um, a kind of perceived proximity, but a proximity that is, of course, um, has a kind of has the boundary of glass, you know, between the inside and the outside. Um, and thinking about how this idea of glass representing freedom and then later on in more contemporary time representing becoming like the quintessential material of technology and then of course the quintessential material of surveillance. Um, so I'm thinking about all of those things, those histories and the ways in which glass both symbolically and literally um, becomes uh, this essential component of the way that we think about the future and freedom um, and tying that into um, something like the broken windows theory and the kind of symbolic use of glass as, or broken glass in particular, as this marker of social unrest of like disorder of breach and how those ideas of uh, how those specific kind of pejorative ideas get tied in or placed onto Black people to then kind of create what we know now is the broken windows, uh, as, as broken windows policing. And so this kind of, in other words, what I'm trying to, what I'm, what the aim is of this work is to talk about the ways in which we can't take the neutrality of materials as a given. Um, that there's more com complex things at work that, uh, you know, in a particular way, begin to uh, reify these kind of protocols of anti-Black violence. Um, and so I'm making work that's meditating on those things, but also, in particular, to bring it back into intimacy, um, how all of these con conceptions of glass complicate and disrupt the formulation of Black intimacies and um, in particular in relationship to space and movement and visibility. <laughs>